Hey everyone, coming at you again from Key West. I'm out here where like the ski rentals and stuff are. Just getting a little quiet spot. And so today, what I wanted to talk to you guys about was intuition. And so what made me think about this is. Oh, I'll wait till that. <laughs> I think there's like a motorbike coming or something. See, my intuition's telling me to wait. <laughs> so what was really funny is, so I'm in my room, and outside of the room, I hear this mom screaming at her kids. <laughs> and she is like, I didn't ask you why, I just told you to follow directions. <laughs> and so I couldn't help but laugh, but... What I really thought when I heard that was how society and our parents condition us at a very young age to just do that, is to follow directions and not question authority. And really what that does is you start questioning your own intuition because you were thinking, oh, I should have done this. But they're like, no, I said to do this, so do that. And there's consequences if you don't do those things, you know? And I think it's so hard because, like, for me, I got to a point where then you're on your own and you have to go by your intuition. But at the same time, you've been telling yourself no to your own intuition for so long that then it doesn't even feel right at first because you feel like there's going to be consequences for what you do if you follow your intuition. And really when it comes down to it is you need to just follow your heart. And when you feel that something is right, you just need to do it. And for that, a big, a big thing with that for me was also making my videos because, you know, I was like, oh, should I do this topic? Should I do this? And I had my intuition of, oh, you should do this. But then it held me back because I would think, oh, well, if I say this certain thing, I could get backlash for it. And I could get people mad and upset people because they don't agree with my opinion or something. And really what that is is that is an old wound that I had in myself from just that, from society, from being in school where you're taught to think a certain way and to do things a certain way and really it's the most important thing that you need to do for yourself is you need to start cultivating that intuition back in with yourself because I feel like there's signs everywhere and when you look at your heart into your heart that's when you notice those signs and that's when you start to begin to trust yourself when you start cultivating this intuition and this inner knowing in yourself. And I think it's just so important in society today because of what I was saying, like <laughs> like that mom screaming at her kids, <laughs> saying, just do what I told you to do, you know? And, you know, you understand it from the parents' point of view because, you know, they're they're trying to get something done, they're trying to do something, but also they've been conditioned for 50 years being told from their parents and from their schooling to do what was told so then they get to this point where they're like well why won't you just do what you're told <laughs> you know and i think that's what's so hard about cultivating that intuition in ourselves because it's like at first we're triggered by it because it's like oh well if i go with my intuition what could, what could happen to me you know, and once you really truly begin to trust yourself and trust that intuition in yourself, you'd be amazed by the places you'll go and the new understandings that you'll have about yourself and the world. Because once you step out of that perspective of being told what to do and whatever your culture has told you what is right and what is wrong because kind of like what I said in, in my last video is 
there is no good or bad and right or wrong when it comes to life because it's all about perspective. One thing that could be good for one person is bad to another. And that's why it's so important to have your own intuition because you're the only one who knows what's right and wrong for you. And you're the only one who knows what's good or bad for you. And once you begin to really trust yourself is when you get to make those own morals and those own things for yourself. And you really get to cultivate that in yourself. And yeah, so that's kind of what I've been pondering today. <laughs> I hope you all have had a great day and I hope that you begin to cultivate your own intuition. And uh, I'm getting, my intuition is telling me that it's time to go inside because I don't know if you can see in the video or not, but um, there's like these flashes of thunder in the distance. <laughs> I don't hear it at all, but I can see it. <laughs> But yeah, so before I disappear, I'll say uh, bye everyone and I hope you have a great night and that you can really start growing that intuition in yourself because like I said, once you cultivate that in yourself, that's when you're going to be going on your path and that's when you're going to become the best version of yourself and get closer to your destiny. Alright everyone, hope you have a great night. Bye.